Hey guys, Dan Alman back with another video. Today we're going to be doing my Bitcoin price prediction for 2026. I think that's going to be the top of the market in 2026. So I want to talk about it. I have made a price prediction video before, but it was on my old channel. Um, I was monetizing a brand new channel and then I didn't use my second channel very often. So I was like, why don't I just convert my second channel to finance, you know, slash crypto stuff. So I did make a uh, price prediction back in uh, two months ago. Um, so we're kind of going to redo this same video on the new channel and talk about my price prediction for 2026. So the very first thing, let's get ourselves uh, grounded here with what is happening. So if you look at basically the monthly um, candle chart of Bitcoin, you can see you have these different um, cycles that have been kind of four year cycles. So um, basically we have this Bitcoin halving that happens every single four years where they have the block reward for, um, sorry, the, they have the amount of Bitcoin created every single time in mining. Now, what doesn't change is you still have the fees. So miners are still useful after, you know, the having stop. Eventually, we will get to the point where there will be no more havings because there'll be no new Bitcoin being printed. And then all of miner um, all of their profits will come from securing the blockchain and, you know, when people transfer, um, you know, making sure all that's good. So this causes basically a uh, reduction in supply, creating a lot more demand. So that's what happens here. And you can see historically, if I scroll down just a little bit here, you can see that historically um, these follow pretty set time. So from the very i'm sorry this is not the very first there's not a lot of data going back that far so this is on coinbase so starting at the second um bull market is what i'll call it the 2017 bull market you basically had the this having and then you had 526 days and then you had about 350 to go back down to the low um and then 500 where you're not excuse me 500 days where you're not doing much of anything and then you hit the having again and then there's a little bit of a delay and then the price goes back up and then you hit an all-time high around the same time right so 526 days uh this one was 550 days kind of the same thing this one might have got cut a little bit short since um you know covid stuff because you know we see this kind of like this double top here um which we didn't see in the first market. Um, and maybe this got cut a little bit short since COVID, you know, happened, um, you know, somewhere in here and it was kind of wreaking havoc on everything. So I don't know. Uh, but still, I kind of met the same time frame, right? And then the same thing about 300, about a year, and then we're back down to the, the bottom. And then you can see the kind of the same thing here. Um, this one, we did have a little bit more pump before the halving. So this was kind of the first time we've had this in a while. Um, so I don't know if that's going to change the cycles at all. But if we continue just assuming that these cycles going to work and, you know, of course, I'm not a financial advisor and past gains are never going to be the same as future gains, but they always do look similar, hopefully. So this kind of follows like an 18 year uh, real estate cycle as well um which is supposed to end at the basically the end of next year so here's my pr price prediction my original price prediction was like 250 260k um now i'm thinking maybe like 200 but i don't know this obviously i mean it could be anywhere from 150 to 150,000 to a million dollars i mean let's be real uh, uh, you never know what it's going to be because if this gets total mainstream adoption and everyone is in cryptocurrency um you could see the most ridiculous expansion ever because right now retail is basically eating up all of the bitcoin in existence um blackrock and all of these um you know different uh, etfs and stuff on the stock exchange means everyone can get bitcoin very easily so who knows? There's there's only X amount of Bitcoins. What is it? 21 million Bitcoins or whatever the number is. Uh, it's really like probably half that because half of them are probably lost um, on someone's hard drive in a landfill or whatever. You know, I bet a lot of Bitcoins are lost. It could be 10 million Bitcoins. Who knows? Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens here. We have no idea. This is one way to look at my price prediction. And the reason that the way I did this, um, I'll show you in a minute here. So if we look at... Um, 
Now this is on a logarithmic scale. So this is kind of the same thing, but um, this is logarithmic scale. If we go to the weekly, this is what we got going on here. Um, if you basically put in these trend lines with a logarithmic scale, you can see that, oh, maybe by the end of this, we're gonna be about 250K. So. It'll be interesting to see what the actual price is going to be, but you can see we're kind of about the halfway point here, right? Now, hopefully we don't see something like this where we bounce off this line, which we kind of have bounced off. Um, and hopefully we don't go retest these lower bounds again, because that would probably cut us short and kind of ruin this whole theory of the four year cycles. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Um, but it seems like we are really in the zone for a huge upside gain. Um, I feel like kind of everyone who has been studying this and everyone who's in for cryptocurrency right now, I feel like we're still early. So if you're here right now, I feel like you're early. Um, you know, I don't hear a lot of people talking about Bitcoin. I, I I see a lot of people on YouTube talking about it just because my algorithm thinks all I want to see is, is cryptocurrency videos. So I think that's the only reason I think I'm a little biased. Maybe we need to go check uh, search trends real quick. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's uh, check out Google search trends real quick. Um, and see what we got going on. So if we go in here and we click Bitcoin, let's see how we are doing. We'll do the entire world worldwide. And um, we will do for the past, um, I don't know, let's say five years. Okay, so if you see 2021 bull market, this should be the, the top of the bull market. The highest price is usually when everyone is looking for it. Everyone's talking about it. Um, you know, your grandma, the taxi drivers, um, your aunts and uncles, you know, you go to Thanksgiving dinner and everyone's talking about Bitcoin. That's usually when it's the best time to sell. And that's usually the top of the market. You can see we are, I mean, we're down in here almost like COVID levels about Bitcoin. So I think we're early. You can see it spiked at the all time high. But still, it was only 50% of the all-time high for the last bull market. So even though the price got higher than it did here, we broke an all-time high in March. Um, we broke an all-time high, but the search term was still only 50% of what it was. So I think we're still early. There's a lot of fear in the market, um, especially right now. There's a lot of fear. If you look at the fear and greed index, we're very low. And this is usually what happens before you have a big pump. So... Um, I think we're all set for the rocket ship to take off. And I think just right now we're in some choppiness here. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with, uh, you know, politics and all sorts of stuff that can affect the price. The U.S. government right now trying to sell, you know, whatever, 10,000 Bitcoin. So that's going to make the price go up and down um, a lot until we see a big move. So if you're in right now and we get a big move, that means you're basically totally in the profits and it's a lot less stress for you, a lot less. So that's basically what I want to talk about today, what my prediction is. I do think we're going to see somewhere between a 200 and maybe a 260, I'll say 200 to $300,000 Bitcoin. And I think the top is going to be somewhere around um, a year from today, honestly, roughly a year from today, I think we're going to see the top. So if I use this right here, it says 9 2025. Um, so September 29th, the end of September is what if, if this follows, you know, similar to how it was before, you're going to see the top somewhere around that time. So the top for 2017 was December. The top for 2021 was November. So maybe this will be a little bit earlier. Maybe it won't be. Maybe this will be uh, the same thing. Maybe it'll be November, December of next year. And then I plan on taking a lot of profits at the end of next year um, because usually what happens is the price comes down a lot. So it usually comes down a lot. So if we look at the last bull run, the price came down 76%. Uh, so you definitely do not want to be in altcoins at that time. If you want to hold your Bitcoin because you're worried about a second pump and the four-year cycle completely going out the window, then I would say move all of your assets into Bitcoin. Um, but still, you, you might be looking at a 70% you know, drop. But you don't lose that money unless you sell when it goes down, right? So as long as you hold it and don't touch it, you're not going to lose anything um, if the market goes down, You know, obviously, as long as it goes back up but usually if you're gonna hold it i mean look at if you're buying back here you're buying at 500 dollars, and now the price is you know whatever sixty thousand. so that's gonna be it for the video i just want to talk about my prediction what i think um yeah and that's it 
let me know what you guys think what's your price prediction what's going on um what are your thoughts how are you guys you know feeling about everything um i'd love to hear your comments below and if you want to join the discord feel free there's a couple of us in here just kind of chatting uh, not a lot there's like literally like five or six people but if you're bored come join the discord i'm trying to uh get some people in here to talk about uh finances and crypto and investments and all of that good stuff so that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it again if you did hit that like and that subscribe button Really appreciate it. If you want to get into any um, exchanges or anything, I got a bunch of links below to, um, you know, help you get in there, give you a little bit of bonus for using those links, and it helps me out as well. So that's it for the video. Again, please press that subscribe and that like button if you're enjoying the content. And uh, let's see what happens here. So, okay, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.